What's up you guys? Matt with Matt Bills coming at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you probably haven't seen the video, but I had done a video a while back on my wife's Jeep. Um, I was having a P0456 code and I replaced the EVAP leak detection module, um, but the code has come back. So I'm doing some other tests. I have a smoke machine on order. Uh, so waiting on that to come in, um, but I'm testing the purge valve right now. I uh, figured I'd just make a quick video showing how I do that. Um, but let's get into it. So this is a 2010 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's got the 3.8 V6. Uh, so your purge valve is located right here. So we're going to take this wiring uh, plug off and then these two lines we're going to unhook. Now you can look at these right here. Sometimes they will be worn because they have some movement. So they'll wear right here or on the battery. Um, but you want to just kind of check those and make sure there's no wear on them. Um, and of course, look at any of your other lines and see if there's any wear. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test this. So we're going to take this plug off and then unhook these two from it. So with this, we just unhook that and unplug the wire. And now on these connectors right here, you're going to have that little gray piece. You're going to squeeze that and then kind of work that hose loose from it. See if I can do it one handed here. Yep, it's gonna fight me. Okay, let me get this one unhooked and the one on the bottom unhooked and then I'll get them back with you. Okay, we got it out. So what I had to end up doing, it was fighting me a little bit. I actually had to push the hose on just a little bit and then squeeze it and then pull it back off. Um, so it's just a little operator error. But, so what I have here, what I'm gonna do, I saw this on another gentleman's YouTube channel uh, and thought, wow, that's a good idea. So these are the two leads from off of my voltmeter. So I'm gonna hook these two leads to it to do my testing. But what you should be able to do is you should be able to blow through this thing. And with it off the vehicle, unless it's getting a signal from the computer, uh, it should not have air flowing through it. So basically you should be able to just take your bur uh, purge valve and nothing, nothing coming through it. Uh, so let's get back down and we'll show you how to test it with the uh, leads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these leads right here that plug into the voltmeter. This is the end that plugs into the voltmeter and slide it down in there. We're gonna put the negative on the right, positive on the left side. Make sure it gets down in there. You know, you gotta get it lined up just right. There you go. All right, so once we do that, then we should be able to take our positive and negative. Let's see if I can get this to make contact while I'm holding the phone here. All right, let's see. All right, that should work. We should hear a click. You hear that? All right, and you also, I'm gonna spin you all around. You can also blow through it and you'll hear the air come through it whenever you uh, open and close it. All right, so let's see if you can hear this right here. So I'm blowing. So if everything seems to test out just like mine did, just uh, right there, um, pretty quick little way to tell if the purge valve is bad. Um, and mine is uh, good from what I can tell. Uh, so once that smoke machine comes in, um, we will be able to hook up a smoke machine to it and actually find this, uh, this leak. But I hope you guys enjoy. Hope to help someone out and we'll see y'all on the next one.